LogMeIn has created a suite of unified communication and collaboration tools called their GoTo Suite. Within this, you'll find products that you might be familiar with, like GoToWebinar, GoToMeeting, GoToTraining, GoToRoom, and now GoToConnect. GoToConnect is the flagship of really unifying all of your communication and collaboration. Through this tool, you're able to run and host meetings, send and receive text messages, make and receive calls, all from one place. So it really makes it easy to stay in touch with your coworkers, especially in a time where you may not be able to sit across the office from them. GoToConnect is accessible within a web browser. Right now I have it pulled up in Chrome. It's also available as a desktop download, so you can have an application for both your Windows machine and also your Mac computer and you can use it as a mobile application on both Android and iOS devices. In the top corner, we'll have our favorites, and this is a list that you can customize for each individual on your team. I have my team up here, and there's some presence monitoring that's available for each of those. I can see right now that Roland is available, and Sutton is on a call, so he is showing as red and unavailable. Beneath that, I'll have conversations, and within this, I'll see these notification buttons. And this just lets me know that I either have a message from them, a voicemail, or a missed call. So there's something within that that I need to go and address. On the left sidebar, we'll have several icons going down the side. And this is where we'll click into different actions for our GoToConnect soft phone. I'll have the dial pad where you can type out the phone numbers to make a call or you can dial the phone number using your keyboard so it's nice and quick. If there's a new phone number that you want to add to your contacts, it's as simple as clicking Add Contact, typing in their first and last name, and their address if you have it. I also have a full list of all my internal contacts, so if I wanted to place a call out to Sutton, I can find his name, and I don't have to remember that his extension is 1900. All I have to remember is that his name is Sutton. I'm going to place a call out to my cell phone. So within the active call, I have the options to mute and unmute, open up a keypad if I need to type in something extra, adjust my audio settings, place the call on hold, add in a third party to the call, or park the call into one of our call parking spots. I do have the option to transfer the call as well. If I want to transfer this call, let's say I want to transfer it over to Sutton. I'm going to find his name, and then I have the option to direct transfer it to Sutton, where I just send the call over to him. I have the option to warm transfer it, where I speak with Sutton first and let him know who's on the phone and then send it over. Or since I know that Sutton's busy, because his icon is red, I can actually just send it over to his voicemail. The next icon down the side is we have the option to send and receive text messages. More and more people are moving to a text message environment where they would rather receive a text message from a company than they would receive a phone call. This really helps to be able to meet customers where they're at, whether they want to receive a phone call or whether they want to receive a text message. You through this platform can do both. This is also really helpful when your teams are all working remotely, you can send and receive chat messages through this platform to them. So you can stay in touch and maintain a dialogue even though you're no longer sitting next to each other. I'm going to send a text message. And then I also have the options to add in emojis and send those. Using this paperclip icon, I can send MMS messages so I can send out a photograph. Let's see what it looks like when we receive a message back. So we've received their message back and it also looks like they sent us a picture message. We could download it and save it where we need to. So if you have a patient management system or a CRM that this photograph needs to go into, it's easy to download it and then re-upload it to that program. Sending a message to one of our coworkers is just as simple. You can come into their name or you can go through the text messaging area, ask him how he is, and send him over a smiley face. Very similar to the text messaging, when a new message comes through, we'll be able to see that in this same chain. I need to start a quick video session with Sutton.
So what I'm going to do is instead of calling him by clicking this icon, I'm actually going to launch a video chat with him. And it's going to contact Sutton. And he has the option, the same with a call, to answer this message. Thanks for joining the meeting, Sutton. Since only Sutton and I need to be in this meeting, I'm going to go ahead and lock the meeting room. What that, that's going to do is it's going to make it so that no one else can join this meeting and it keeps this nice and safe and secure. When I'm in the participants pane, I have the option to send a mute request to Sutton. So if maybe there's some background noise or he has a dog barking, I can mute him and we can carry on with our meeting. I also have some different chat options. So if I want to go into the chat pane, I can type out a message to Sutton and he can receive that. This is especially useful if we need to share some links back and forth or we want to collaborate on a document. And look, he said hello. We also can change around the view. So right now we have Sutton as the main person. We can switch it around to just view the presenter or to view everyone. So when you have a large group of people, sometimes it's helpful to filter it out to active speakers and then also to just the presenter. We'll have our meeting controls down at the bottom. This, is, this gives me the options to mute, turn on and off my webcam, share my screen, and invite new participants if we need someone else to join the meeting. And then when everything is finished, we can go ahead and leave the meeting. So bye Sutton. And we can end that meeting for everyone. This will give us some brief meeting notes so we can see the total duration of the meeting was three minutes. And it'll give us some quick tips for our next meeting. So this is where you can come and start a meeting, join an existing meeting, and do all of your meeting functionality right through this soft phone. So you don't have to open another tab or a new program, it's all built right in. Every person will have their own meeting room, and this is going to be custom for them. So you can see my meeting URL is custom to me, where it's Valerie Hulan Meeting. And yours would be the same. So it's nice and easy to remember, and you don't have to remember a string of digits or numbers or letters or anything that's going to make it very difficult. Within that, you'll have several join options. So you can choose to join with your computer. You can pick your different cameras, your different audio inputs. And if you don't want to use speaker and mic like I'm using with a headset, you can actually go through to the join by phone area and you can have the meeting call you or you can just dial in. Now this is if you want to do an ad hoc meeting with your personal meeting room. We also have some options where you can create and schedule a meeting and add in a co-organizer. And if there is an existing meeting that you want to join, you can go through the join a meeting area and just type it in there. We also have some great options to be able to sync up with your existing calendaring system from Office 365 or Google and pull in any meeting invites that you have. So you can see I have a meeting in 28 minutes. When the time comes, I can click on that meeting and I can go ahead and join it right from this platform. I don't have to go into my calendar, find the meeting invitation, click on the link, or anything like that. I also don't have to search for an email. All I have to do is go to my meeting tab and click on the meeting and it's that simple to join. When you record a meeting those will all be stored under the recordings area. You can click on any of these. You can go back and play the entire meeting. You can also search through the transcript and find the particular area that you're looking for. But this will show any screen share and any webcams that were shown during the meeting. As we continue to go down, you'll have your contacts area, which will pull in all of your coworkers that are on the same system as you, and then also any contacts that you have added yourself. We do have some great sync options with Outlook, so you can pull in those contacts as well. And then we'll have our activity area. And this is where you can pop in and look through your call history, your voicemail history, and your text messaging history, as well as your chat history. 
In the voicemails, you'll have some nice visual management where you can pop in and play the message, mark the message as played, delete the message, call that person back, or view your entire history with them. The final piece of this is if you have an agent who is taking a lot of inbound calls from a call queue, they'll be able to go to this agent tab that's identifiable by the little headset icon. This will bring them to where they can log in for calls and mark themselves as ready. Once they've marked themselves ready, the inbound queue calls will start coming through to them. They'll have the option to pause the queue if they need to go on a break or take their lunch. And when they come back and they're ready again, they can click ready for calls. The assigned queues will show any queues that they've been assigned to, and this will give them a brief snapshot of the number of agents that are logged in, how many calls are waiting or currently in progress, and then the disposition of the other agents, whether they're ready, talking, wrapping up a call, in a non-queue call, or are paused. Beneath that, we'll have the today's activity, this is where the agents can take a look at their progress week over week and then day over day so they can compare today's stats with yesterday and the same day the previous week. At the bottom of the agent view, we'll see their week's activity and this gives a great picture of what their holistic time on the phone has looked like. So you can see how many handled queue calls they have, how many inbound non-queue calls they have, and how many outbound non-queue calls they have. Then we can look at it from a supervisor point of view. So the supervisor will have a slightly different icon. They'll have the supervisor icon. When we click on that, it will open up this real-time dashboard. This will tell us how many calls are currently waiting, how many total calls we have, and how many of those are in progress. We'll get a great snapshot into the highest number of calls waiting and which queue those calls are waiting in, as well as our longest agent call duration, our longest wait time, and our daily queue totals. So overall, how many abandoned calls, timed out calls, and handled calls have happened today. As we scroll down the page, we'll have our queue activity, and this breaks it down for each individual queue. So if you have a supervisor whose job is to monitor multiple queues, they can do that on a holistic level with the top overview, and then they can do it on a queue level with the queue activity card. In our customer support queue, we have four agents who are currently in this queue, and all of those agents are in ready status. It will show different colors based on whether they're on queue calls, paused, on non-queue calls, or on the phone in another queue. We'll also have our daily queue totals for this queue specifically. If there's ever a time where all of our agents are busy, it's a very, very busy time, and we need to have other agents log in, or people just come in and help, we can click Log Agents into Queue, and we can pull those people in. I'm gonna log in April and Anthony. As we scroll down to the agent activity, this will give us a good view as to what the agents are doing. When they're on a phone call with someone, it will show the caller ID and the phone number information, how long that person held for, and the total talk time that they've been on the phone. For each of these agents, we'll have several actions that we can take. We have the option to do various forms of call monitoring, whether it's to listen in on the call, where in this case, we would listen in to Bo. Bo doesn't know we're on the phone, and neither does the person that Bo's talking to. If Bo needs a little bit of help, then we can whisper to Bo, and whoever he's talking to won't know that we're on the phone, so it's a great way to do some training and to help out our agents when they need a, a bit of a hand. And then the final option for call monitoring is to barge. Maybe this call with Bo isn't going very well, and the, a the customer wants to escalate. We can click this barge button and take over that call, and it's essentially like a three-way call at that point, where both the caller and Bo know that we're on the phone. The other options that we have are to pause the agent. So if we know that Bo is taking his lunch or needs to take his lunch, then we can manually pause him. And this will put him into that pause status. 
Similarly, if we know that Anthony went home for the day, we can log him out completely from the queue. When we have someone who's waiting for their call to be picked up, we'll have some actions that we can take. If we have all of our agents on the phone and it doesn't look like any of them are wrapping up soon, then maybe we as the supervisor can pop in and pick up this phone call and help out in the queue. We also have the option to transfer the call. So if we recognize that every time Valerie calls in, she is always looking to talk directly to Angela and no one else, then we can transfer this call straight over to Angela without them having to continue waiting in the queue anymore. GoToConnect is a really useful tool for keeping your remote employees engaged and active within the company. You can maintain that communication with meetings where you can share video and share screens and you can maintain that engagement by being able to chat each other. GoToConnect can help you and your team have a successful work from home experience.